so today I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Last week I showed you part one or day one of my workout in New Jersey with Atto Golden. But today I'm going to show you day two, but I'm actually going to go through the workout and kind of explain what it is that we're working on. So um, last week he and I did a sit down and kind of briefly went over the things that we work on as a whole. and. Mostly it's speed technique. So as I mentioned before, I train full time in Texas with my coach Daryl Woodson and then he and I work on the fine tuning of that training, if that makes sense. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, here we're talking about nothing. So let me fast forward. Okay, so here we are working on my warm-up drills, which he likes to watch because he likes to make sure that, number one, I'm doing them correctly. And there are certain things, we say that we overemphasize our drills so that we create more of a range of motion to allow for that while we're running. So basically, what? wait, there we go. Basically, every drill is done to emphasize what we want to do when I'm on the track. So everything from how I strike the ground with my feet, how I swing my arms, how I lift my knees, is what I want to carry over to the track. Towards the end here, I'm doing some drills where I'm basically opening my shoulders and I'm swinging my arms. And this again, I'm, I'm still emphasizing, you know, striking the ground correctly and lifting my knees, but I'm working to expand the range of motion here for a better arm swing. And this last drill here is again, arm swing. It's a little exaggerated. You'd more see something like this um, at the start coming out of the blocks and it's kind of a violent swing, but again, it's opening the range of motion to allow for more space when competing. So here we're moving on to the, we call this acceleration drill. And it's again an over exaggeration of what I would be doing coming out of the box. So arm action, head down, planting the foot. Do it again. So we do this for about 20 yards, it looks like. Um, and I'm focusing on keeping my head down, protecting my angles, the angles being the angles between my knee, my um, hips, and um, my arm swing, of course. And I do this a few times before moving on to my blowouts, which you then see, I'm then trying to use what I just did before and implement it into my blowouts. So here I'm not so focused on it being fast, but it being right. Okay, so we're moving on to the sticks portion of my warm up. And if you can't tell from last week or day one, the hurdles were a little bit lower. We moved to a, uh-oh, why did my screen go black? Okay, here we go. We moved to a higher um, hurdle, which these are 12 inches. And <laughs> for that reason, to challenge me a little bit more than, um, the shorter ones we're doing and what we're emphasizing here again is lifting the knees, quick feet, um, I tell you use the word divorce, I spend a lot of time on the ground and we're working on me getting off the ground as quickly as possible. So applying great force but not spending a whole bunch of time on the ground or essentially wasting time on the ground. Oh. 
break. Here we go again. So we do 10 of these before we actually move on to the actual workout. And Atto was dying for me to knock one over so I could give him 10 push-ups for each hurdle. Which day one, I was perfect. <laughs> so we'll see how I do today. So arm swing, knees up, same emphasis, just working on picking up my feet quickly. Also staying on my toes. Um, he doesn't want me on my heels at all, so that's something that he pays very close attention to while I'm doing this drill. portion. So why you stop halfway though? <laughs> this is us all the time. So I'm trying to remember. I, I want to say we did about 40 yards. So I am going to be pushing the sled for 40 yards up and down 10 times. So Essentially, you could say if you want to call up and down one, that's five. And I had about 30 seconds rest. And again, same emphasis here where we're working on quick feet, quick heel recovery, and using the power out of the back. So essentially, the glutes and driving down the track. So going back this way was a little bit difficult because the weight was on the front. So... I kind of had to get a little bit lower for the weight to stay level on the ground. So yeah, driving the knees up, keeping my toes up, but pushing the weight straight forward and down the track or down the turf in this instance. around and right back down. So this workout, I thought it was going to be not so bad, but this is kind of the way that I like to train in that it actually was a tough workout. Um, I had 10 repetitions, but I had 30 seconds rest. So the way that I like to train is high intensity short period of time so it probably took about no more than 15 minutes to do this whole workout but I got a good heart rate and a good my legs were on fire by the end of this workout so I got a good amount of work done in a short period of time and the emphasis again was being fast being efficient and covering you know a good amount of track By this point, I wasn't really feeling him. Yeah, you have to get along when the weight's in front. Let's go. See, so he's telling me here when the weight's in front, I have to get lower. So, hips up, quick strike. At this point, I was done. <laughs> I was struggling. And we're done. Are we? No, it looks like I have more. So, here the first step, like they say, the first step in everything is, is important because that's where you generate the most power, you create the momentum that you need to get down the track so that first step was the hardest one but it was the most important one as far as setting up the rest of the run so here we are going into my cool down <laughs> which I finally knocked a hurdle over and had to give Ato 10 push-ups he was really excited about that me not so much because I'm still dying from the workout and I hate push-ups I 
always struggling. So, okay, we're measuring to put them back in place. In case you missed it, last week I showed that I put two feet in between each hurdle. We measure two feet, so that's the spacing for the hurdles. And for the cool down, we'll do five of these. And the emphasis of doing this, or the importance of doing this at the end of the workout is to still reinforce that quick motion, striking the, the ground correctly, even when in fatigue. Which, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit, so that's a bit of a challenge. So but this will come hugely into play at the end of the 400 when everyone's tired and I gave him another hurdle. He's really excited about that. Yeah, it did hit two, but it didn't move. So I only had to give him 10 push-ups. So in all, 20 push-ups for the day. So I hope you found this method of, you know, me explaining what I'm doing um, valuable. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos done this way, if you'd kind of like for me to walk you through my workouts, um, if this makes things a little bit easier. Um, so anyway, make sure you're subscribed. Of course, there's more Workout Wednesday videos coming up. I'm going to put something together as I prepare for my first meet at the Milrose Games coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy.